Right, so basically, let's get straight into it. I decided about two to three days ago, as I was sat in my room playing Call of Duty, you know, like I have been for the past, what, two months throughout this lockdown, that I was sick of it. I was sick of just lying in my bed, doing literally nothing with my life. I feel like I'm wasting it. And I know there's not much you can do right now with coronavirus and all that, but I believe there's still enough you can do. So I decided to do the thing I've wanted to do pretty much my whole life, which is create a YouTube channel and a video. So here it is. I've decided that I wanted to create a YouTube channel dedicated around challenges and like stuff in that direction. So I've got a few challenges in mind of what I want to do for future videos uh, and things that I think would be pretty good content to release. And to be honest, I'd enjoy doing, I'd really enjoy doing. So for today's, I decided to do a 360. Reason because I've been into BMX a long time now, but more on and off, more I love to watch it and I love the history behind it and stuff. I'm not that great at it. And years ago, I used to do these tricks, but I've not done anything in years, pretty much since I've met my girlfriend. Thanks, Katie. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's get straight into it. And we're going for attempt one right now. And it is too late to climb any mountain. Time is up the answers, the blood running through our core. It's best to not feel sorry when it's over. I just keep freaking out. I need to stop being a wimp about it and just send it. I keep think overthinking it, overthinking it, overthinking it. It's stupid. So I've just moved the camera and I'm going to do it on this little bit instead because I think going down there, I'm going a bit downhill and getting a bit too much speed and it's just messing with my head too much. So I'm going to try it going this way, hopefully. Going this way. Let's go. Ten. Next five, sure. Sometimes I feel that my love's run out. When things don't go to plan, I kinda lose my mind. I hope it's real. This life comes around. Just keep your faith and search for the fountain. Time is of the essence. Blood running through our core It's best to not feel sorry when it's over I will be the greatest that you've ever seen before And I'll stay eternal Now, 12.07, whether you can see that or not, I'm not too sure. That means I've been doing it for about an hour now. I mean, give up, it's probably been around 40 minutes to be completely honest because I've been getting in my car, talking to the camera, reviewing the footage, trying to see what I'm doing wrong. I've had to swap spots about three times. And to be honest, my biggest problem at the minute is the wind. My camera's fallen over a couple of times. We've got to keep going, haven't we? Let's see what we can do. It 
Did I choose such a hard trick? Right, so I'm going to be completely honest, I'm struggling, I'm really struggling uh, and to be fair, I've run out of energy, I realised I'm just so hungry so I've gone and bought some crisps, good sandwich, some water and the thing that hopefully will make me land it, Red Bull, <laughs> not sponsored, not yet <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm going to go back, I'm going to give it some more attempts and to be completely honest, I'm not sure if I'm going to land it. If I don't land it, I'm going to upload this either way. to land it. My camera's fell twice and I'm a bit worried about this lens. When you don't have much money you have to look after your stuff you got and I'm not doing the best of job with that right now. So right here right now. Oh my 
hands absolutely Right, so I hope you enjoyed watching that as much as I enjoyed making it. Yeah, it was very hard at times, very, very hard, but I really did enjoy it. Uh, it had its ups, it had its lows, like everything, and I wanted to document that whole process. I didn't want it to be just showing the highlights and like the good bits, because it's easy to show just the good bits. I wanted to show the complete reality of it. Um, it took a lot longer than I thought it would take, but it is where it is I suppose. I started getting into a bit of a rut I noticed after reviewing the footage and it was very hard for me to get out of that rut. A lot of it was due to energy, I was running out of energy all the time. It's just, it requires so much power to pull the bike around and twist your whole body around and so much energy that you're burning that much so quick that I wasn't even realising how tired I was, get, I was getting until I'd sit down and be like Right, okay, I need something to eat now. Um, so, altogether, it took me 79 minutes and 2 seconds to uh, land it, which isn't actually too long, I'm surprised. Uh, because my timer, I had a timer originally, for, so every time I wasn't trying the trick, I'd put the timer on and I was going to take that off the time it was like at the end. But I messed up and lost the timer somehow. So I had the very tedious job of going through all the footage, I went through all the attempts and calculated how long it was when I was actually trying the chip trick. So it came down to 79 minutes, it's probably a little bit longer from like actually like going doing circles and stuff like that and getting prepared for it. But there was a, I went to so many different spots because I just kept getting kicked out pretty much because cars would keep like were just in the way all the time. Uh, people were walking up and down like the streets all the time. And to be honest, I'm not confident enough to be doing stuff like that and talking to the camera in front of people yet because it's all still very new to me. Uh, I'm very lucky I found that spot at the end where I actually ended up landing it. I, uh, it was a gym car park and obviously because of coronavirus and everything going on right now it's shut down at the minute so I had a big car park to myself which was absolutely ideal. I um, want to apologise for the sound quality, I did pick the worst day to do it because it was just so cloudy and windy, the wind was so bad um, and it just made the audio absolutely awful. Uh, but it, it is where it is, and it went well. It did go really, really well. Any tips for anyone else wanting to try it? Don't do what I did. <laughs> if once you feel you're getting tired, leave it and try it again another day. Is the best way to go at it, to be honest. Uh, so have a few goes at it, and if it's not working out that day, try it again another day. Lots of energy. You need to be in something that's going to give you a load of energy, a Red Bull would really help. Uh, keeping your head turned is probably the biggest one. Uh, I'm not going to go too far into it, there's so many like videos on YouTube that are describing how to do it by professional BMX riders um, and they go all in depth and I watched a few of them and they really did help. It's just keeping your head turned, keeping your shoulders turned and everything, yeah. Uh, and I can't, I, I landed it but this is a big, if I could do it right now, uh, probably not, but I did land it, so that's all that matters. Was it clean? No. Do I care? Not a little bit. <laughs> I'm just, I really didn't think I was going to land it. Right, so I don't think there's anything else I need to say. In the future, I've got a few more challenges I'd like to try out. If you like this style of video, just let me know in the comments. I'm going to, the reason... I had a music going over all the like the tries and the attempts earlier on was just to cover the wind. So in the future it shouldn't be like that. I don't I'd rather have a raw outlook on it so you can hear it, you can hear me struggling and stuff like that. Um, but it is what it is for today. So I'll catch you in the next. <laughs>